We've got a beanie on today. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I love a <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the 13th episode of the Coach's Corner. Still quiet without all oh, like you're in, you're in Luke's spot. You're in your spot today. I like Luke's spot. Up. Is he getting moved? Luke yep. will come back and move back. Actually, Beck said to the story, she goes, I think it's funny you were sitting in the same seats. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, Luke, Luke now has a new spot. <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to be answering your questions sent into our Instagram page, Squad Club AU. So, if you have a question for our next episode, then make sure that you shoot us a message or a slide into our DMs through there and we'll get that answer for you. Uh, so, okay, so let's get into the questions. I play sport and keep active. Why is it important for me to have a gym membership as well? Injury prevention, specificity. Ooh. <laughs> I <really> struggled with that. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say uh, Yeah, okay. <laughs> Try <coughs> Specificity. <laughs> specificity. Specific stuff. <laughs> Try <laughs> saying it. Specificity. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Specific, 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 specific. There you are. <laughs> you want to carry on with your answer? I don't know what to say about that. Either. Um, no specificity for your training uh, or for your sport, so you can improve um, your sport. Say if it's like lateral movements or strength and stability. So especially for females in that for running, having the strength and stability to stabilise your knee through your ankles and your glutes, so that'll help in your games or you know. Um, plus strength gains as well, so again that will help with your performance, so um, yeah, in, improving your performance basically. Mm. Um, yeah, it's extremely uh, important. Strength, mobility, specificity, um, what was the other one? So yeah, injury prevention is yeah. probably the, the biggest one. Yeah, so if you have your training, um, <coughs> say you might train two nights a week with whatever you do, and you do two strength training days, that can improve your, say, game time or what you do as that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it depends on what you do to be active either too. Like it might not be that you play a sport, it might be you just like to play tennis or you like to go on runs or something together or whatever, you know. Coming into the gym can you know doing some strength training has other benefits too, so they can all um, bounce off each other too. So you know, build some like bone density and strength and you know, it helps a lot as you grow older. So Especially I think running, like if you're yeah. a runner, yeah. um, doing the sort of stuff is really important for your feet. Okay, next question. You said that creatine was a useful supplement. Yes, it is. Uh, what about amino acids? So B, C, double A's. It's okay. Do I take it? No, I don't take it. I don't find it beneficial. I mean, if you're getting an adequate amount of protein, um, you know, you don't need them. Um, and the studies have shown that, you know, there's even like whey protein, it increases protein synthesis a lot more than B, C, double A's. Um, and also there were studies shown that it was detrimental to if you were to take that um, faster, like if you're doing you know, faster training, you know, it's not going to be as beneficial for you. So um, it is a supplement, you always want to make sure that you prioritise your food first. Um, you know, so I think save your dollars, keep them in your pocket. Um, and look to try to you know, find different sources of protein um, that can also balance out everything that, you know, that your, your body requires. That's you the, have, yeah. They are expensive too, yeah. so yeah, yeah, they're not really... You like, don't if, need you, them. if you work on your diet and get protein from like variety sources, that's all the amino acids that you need. So if you hit your protein numbers then, you have a good source of protein then you don't need BCAAs. Yeah. Because isn't it you've got your essential and your non-essential, so essential is making the body and not Money. Yeah. Yeah. Don't waste your money on it and focus on quality protein. Yeah. Yeah. I think as Ash said, the food yeah. is more important, so focus on getting in from the food. Yeah. But is it going to make that much of a difference to your performance? Yeah. yeah. To like, take it or not take that's it? That's right. And, and like I said, the, the study's shown as well that like whey protein <coughs> can increase your protein synthesis a lot higher than what a BCAAs can. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. save you money. 
in before the supplement warehouses come knocking at our door. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, like it's a multi-million dollar industry, you know. That's what it is because, I mean, they are essential to protein synthesis. That's why they, they break that down to the branch chain amino acids and they sell it to you. It's just, it's just for them to make money. Yeah. Like, like taking that as a supplement to only like the branch chain amino acids. So yeah. what is it, leucine, yeah. valine, isoleucine. But if you're taking something like say, whey protein or good source of protein, they have like a, like a large amino you know, acid protein. Yeah. So yeah. It's way more beneficial yeah. to you. And yeah. It can be very, very helpful if you can, like kind of time your meals to like, um, you know, something, you know, an hour or two before your training. So then, because what you, the protein you do eat, your body's like processing that, you know, through time. It's not just like, it needs something during workout. You know, yeah. what, you, what you eat before and after, you know, with some space, your body's going to use those amino acids. Yeah. So yeah. it's not. That's right. Necessary to take an intro workout. Yeah. Well, I guess that's, that is really another good point that could come into it is yeah, how much of that are you actually absorbing? Yeah. Um, and if you're not absorbing any of it, you're just excreting it. Yeah. Through your urine. Save your money. Save your dollars. Yeah. Uh, okay, if I'm trying to bulk and I've put on weight, if the scales are going up, how do I know if it's muscle mass or just putting on fat? It's mm. probably kind of sort of answered it last week with Lenka talking about girth. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, so, I mean, that'll probably be a big indicator. Um, like, if you're putting on, if it's noticeable in the mirror, then, yeah, you probably are putting on a bad butt. Um, like we said, weight, the number on your scales isn't the only indicator. It's going to be, you know, you can use other uh, measurements like girth and all that too. So, yeah. Because you are going to kind of, you know, there's going to be muscle growth there too, so. I do think, yeah. though, in terms of this one, uh, the weight on the scale will help you in determining like how much of what you're putting on, because um, like there is, I guess, rates of weight gain, kind of what you want to yeah. go towards. Yeah. You know, so you've got. It depends on you know the the experience of the trainee. So um, if you're so new into training, we've spoken about this before that <coughs> like the newbie gains. You know, so they're the pe people that are so new to training. They're going to be able to build a lot more muscle. A lot faster than someone's going to be a bit more advanced. So, um, you know, we kind of look at roughly around about one and a half percent of your body weight increase in a, per month, and then it starts to decrease as you get more experience. So, you know, someone that's probably been training for about a year or so would probably get you know, a one percent increase uh, in their weight, and then someone who's you know a lot more advanced, you know, looking at like zero point five percent of their of their body weight as an increase per month. Um, that way then you, you don't have, you know, the, un the unnecessary body fat that you're wanting to hold. Like, you are, if you're going to eat in the calorie surplus, you're going to be putting on body fat. It's inevitable. But you can try and, you, you can try and control, I guess, the amount of body fat that you're putting on. So, um, making, like, small increases in terms of the weight scale. Would you say that if you're a weight, like, say your strength is increasing, yeah. Uh, yes, if to some you're degree, yeah. As a, like an oh, yeah. experienced trainer, yeah. obviously not a beginner because, I mean, there's going to be some increase in that, but it's more um, the muscle fibers that are being active or activated when you're a beginner, yeah. but then it's more experienced to be more growth of lean muscle mass. Yeah. Um, well, I think it depends what kind of strength you <coughs> when they do, because like, if you're getting stronger, it doesn't necessarily mean that your muscles get bigger. Mm -hmm. Depends what the kind of training mm -hmm. so, We're talking about it yesterday, right? About that girl, um, um, the mm. with her legs. She, she was a powerlifter, but I think she's tra trained. Um, she's doing a hypertrophy now because her legs are massive, like <coughs> massive. Yeah, right. And yeah, so I don't like just the strength, like powerlifting training, mm. strength training women probably um, make them up. Mm. Okay, um, I find it hard to drink protein shakes after a workout. What else do you recommend to have after training? Eat. <laughs> I would say I don't drink protein shakes. I don't think you need them. Yeah. Well, you don't need Just something straight away after. Yeah, it's after not after a. Training. It's not necessary. Yeah, first off. Yeah. Well, that's probably a good. Don't worry about yeah. having a there's shake no, thirty seconds after. You yeah, finish. there's no fifteen-minute anabolic yeah. window, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Don't write these anabolic windows. Just a, any like whole source of protein, like from 
actual food yeah. will be fine too. Yeah. So whatever you, whatever's easy for you to eat, that's mm. fine. Then, yeah. I mean, depending on the goal, um, if you're looking to actually build muscle, um, you know, and you're in the calorie surplus, then definitely, you know, you, you do want to get a food or protein um, around the workout, maybe like roughly around two hours on either side. Um, when it comes to, you know, if you're in a calorie deficit, then it's not going to be as important because you're not going to be able to build muscle, so you're just trying to retain it. So if you, if you retain it, you can try and spread your food out, like we we're just saying, then spread your protein intake out throughout the day, making sure that you, you're hitting your daily intake. Um, but in terms of the timing, it's not going to be as important to have it right after a workout. So you can have a protein shake if you want to, but I mean, you can have it later on. You don't have to have it straight after a workout. You can have it like an hour, two hours later on. Um, or then like, yeah, like you guys said, then there's like have something to eat, you know, yeah. um, which generally I think people do anyway, because, you know, if you're training, you're probably going to eat in a couple hours beforehand just to get some energy. Um, and if you haven't, then when you do train and then afterwards, you're going to be hungry. So you're probably going to eat, you know, two hours inside two hours afterwards anyway. So yeah. I wouldn't worry too much in terms of the timing. Um, and just kind of go for a bit more of your preference. If you can't stomach a protein shake, then maybe look at something that you enjoy to eat. Mm, yeah. That's it. That's all our questions. That's all our questions this week. <laughs> What's going on? One, two, three, four questions. Ooh. So we need more questions. Now we know. Yeah. But we don't need Luke. <laughs> I reckon if Luke was here, it would probably be an extra 10 minutes as well. <laughs> I miss you, Luke. <laughs> Talking about Maccas. <laughs> <laughs> kind of upsize yourself. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. Well, that's it today. And I hope you guys enjoyed that and got a lot out of our episode. Um, if you have questions, make sure you shoot them to our Instagram page, Squat Club AU. And we'll see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>